Welcome back to the King Films College Football betting locks and predictions. And boy, did we have a great one last week. We went 5-0. and We moved to five units up on the year after treading water for most of the year so far. This was the breakout week we needed. Let's go over it. We got Oklahoma State to win outright against Texas at home. And then we had a Cal team that was competitive with Washington throughout the game. Got down by two scores, but came back, made it one. And we took the game timeline of plus seven and a half here. They barely edged it out. That one was a little lucky for us. Wyoming dominates Utah State at home in Laramie. And then LSU wins outright against Ole Miss. That one was a very nice one for us. And then South Carolina takes care of Texas A&M as a dog at home. So we moved to 5-0 and on the week, as I mentioned before. And again, last week and this week, there aren't many teams that are playing. About 60% of the games you would usually get, a lot of teams are on by. So take that into account. We've only got five locks this week, but... Again, 5-0, and no one's complaining with that. We've got Utah at Washington State, and I've handicapped both of these teams on their last games. We got one correct, and Utah we barely lost. If you remember, they were not able to cover against USC. That was unfortunate for us, but I like the bounce-back effect for Washington State and Cameron Ward here. Plus 8.5, they might not win, but it'll definitely be close. They played Oregon very close, really should have won that game at home remember that and obviously their last game was against Oregon State on the road Utah had the comfort of playing at home against USC Utah's always struggled against these mobile quarterbacks they lost to UCLA they lost to Florida I think this is a trap game give me Washington State here if not the win outright then to cover the one possession game then we've got East Carolina at BYU and East Carolina's been on a bit of a heater recently. They almost beat NC State. They're a great team at home. They've only played one away game so far and they lost. So take that as you will. It was to Tulane, but this is a very good East Carolina team, but we don't really know how they play on the road. I think BYU is no doubt more talented obviously they're favored in this game but I think that's only the home field favoring I think the fans for BYU will be at this game and Jaron Hall, Gunnar Romney and friends will dominate East Carolina and get BYU back on the winning track after a couple up and down weeks Cincinnati at UCF I like this game as a little trap maybe Cincinnati wins by one but I really see UCF winning this one Both teams are good, but I like UCF's bounce house to take care of Cincinnati here. Cincinnati's played close to a lot of inferior opponents. UCF has been similarly up and down, but they play much better at home. They dominated SMU and Louisville at home this season. So then we've got two Big 12 locks, and let's get right into it. TCU at West Virginia. We're going to take the home dog. West Virginia and JT Daniels were able to take care of Baylor just barely in that one. And I think that this is going to be more of a TCU escapes late but wins. So we're taking them plus eight. I think this is the right number, but I think that West Virginia is just going to play it close because it is West Virginia. The fans are always going to be out and about for this game. TCU hasn't looked great over the past two weeks. Obviously, they've been playing good opposition, and we'll see that in the next game. But TCU, I like them to either fall or West Virginia to keep it close against them. Give me West Virginia and the Mountaineers plus eight there. Finally, we've got Oklahoma State at K-State. We're going to have to take K-State on the bounce back effect plus one and a half. OK State is bound for a letdown here on the road. Spencer Sanders and co were able to escape past Baylor. Now they're able to escape past Texas. Of course, they lost to TCU, but they were winning at the beginning of that one. So they felt that one got away. That was the bounce back here. Now we've got Kansas State on the bounce back at home after a loss to TCU. I like Kansas State and Adrian Martinez plus one and a half. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're on the chase for 2,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching.